Hello of the next few things. I'll just highlight right now the fact that often I find, having taught Algebra 1 as well as Algebra 2, that students get these two concepts confused with each other. Similarly, they often get expression and equation confused. And I'll try to make sure that I've kind of teased out for you what the differences between those two things are. Let's get to simplifying and evaluating powers. Again, powers, remember we're talking about exponents here. Simplifying. Well, here's a perfect example of why I would want to simplify. Here I've got a string of five A's being multiplied. Not too terribly cumbersome to have to write, but imagine if it, instead of five it had been 55, or 555 A's in a row. The whole reason that we use exponents in the first place is simply as a shorthand to save us trouble and time. It's a matter of simplifying. So this first one here, simplified, becomes a to the fifth. Likewise over here, notice that actually what I have is a, a string of four negative nines. And all of them are in parens. So I'm going to keep those parens, and I'm simply going to apply the exponent to the whole thing here. Keep in mind, that means then the exponent goes to what it's next to. It goes to everything it's next to. So I not only have four nines, but I also have four negatives. That'll become important in a second. The two y's, well in this case I have three sets, simplified. I keep the parens and I give that exponent to it, so now I have two y in parens to the third. Notice that the seven wasn't in the parens before, and it doesn't belong in the parens now because I'm not applying any kind of exponent to the seven. I only have one of those sevens. What I'm saying with this three is that I have three of these two y things. All right, your turn. I'm going to give you three, and I'm going to ask you to simplify them. Those are the three. So go ahead, look at those, and when you're ready, hit the pause button and try to simplify them yourself. Okay, I'm going to assume that you did hit the pause button, and now I'm going to just show you the answers and talk through them very quickly. I hope my handwriting is legible. That's supposed to be negative x in parens to the third. That's 4b in parens squared, because I have two of them, plus or and 2a in parens also squared, because again, I have two of them. And this is supposed to be an 8 with an exponent that's an n. 8 to the nth power can be written more simply in that fashion. By contrast, evaluating means that I'm actually coming up with a value for the thing, the expression that I'd had. Each of these things up here is an expression. It's not an equation. There is no equal sign, so there is no equation involved. The equation happens when I say that one thing is equal to another. And in the process of evaluating, I am going to end up creating equations. So let's look at some things that I'm going to evaluate. I'm going to try to figure out what the numerical value of this expression is, and then this one, and so on down the line. Well, let's, let's just get right to it. The numerical value of the first one is positive 81. Why? Because as I said, the 2 goes to everything it's next to. And in this case, it goes not only to the 9, but also to the negative. If I multiply two negatives, I end up with a positive. My answer becomes positive 81. In this case, the 2 is only applicable to what it's next to, which is the 9. So I've got 81 here, but I've got a negative that I haven't done anything with. So my answer is negative 81. In this case, the 3 does go to everything it's next to, but I've got an odd number of negatives. Negative times negative times negative remains a negative. And then 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so my answer is negative 8. In this case, I've got the exact same expression here with an additional negative sign stuck outside to the left. Let's ignore that for now, because after all, the 3, the exponent has to be dealt with first. So I've got negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 again, which again, like over here, was negative 8. But I've got this negative I haven't done anything with yet. Negative negative 8 is positive 8. All right, your turn. Here are a few that I'd like you to evaluate. When you're ready, go ahead, hit the pause button. Okay, again, I'm going to assume that you've done that, and here are the answers. Don't hesitate to come into class with questions. If you have any about these answers, if you're having trouble reading my writing, that's supposed to say equals 81, 
equals 64 equals 32. Notice that in each of these cases, I've come up with an equation. This is equal to that, that's an equation. But this up here, no equal sign, that's an expression. And I'm going to have to continue it with an extra video.